everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a festive Christmassy grocery haul. It's the 22nd of December today. Here it is. And this is probably the closest we've ever managed to get a grocery haul like ever I think. I never ever normally manage to get a slot but a set reminder this year and I'm well chuffed because it did make it easier. I hate I hate shopping at this time of year. I don't like buying food. I don't like buying presents. Like if I can do it online, I will do it online. We have nipped to a few other places though throughout the week. So I thought I would show you what we've got from there. So it's like a Tesco, Morrison's, M&S, yeah, M&S and Aldi haul. So I will show you everything. Just cause some bits I like to pick up from certain places based on like traditions or like stuff that I really like. And then I will also go to the meal plan or at least a version of it, a Christmassy, involves a lot of snacks and beige food version of it um but yeah i hope you enjoy it as per the cma guidelines i am required to tell you that i have worked with tesco m s and morrison's in the past 12 months i think it's like the 12 months is like the the sort of deadline that you have to keep saying it but i'm trying to keep saying it anyway but all of this has been bought with our own money and like chosen ourselves so just so you know but i'm going to stop rambling and show you what we've bought for christmas so these bits here are all from other stores i remember where everything is from so uh, we got some prosecco from morrison's today because it was on offer we went there first and we decided to get it from there because it was similar price to aldi and i've had this prosecco before from morrison's and it's nice um so what else have we got here oh i picked these up from morrison's when we were walking around i could not i could not leave them i was like mark look at them they are 10 cheesy pigs in blankets and you've got to have them in at this time of year anyway they've got red leicester cheese running through them and i just thought they sounded incredible um mark picked up some peroni so he's got 12 bottles of that we've got this is in no particular order by the way oh we got some baileys um extra thick cream as well got some aldi mince pies We've got, um, what is this? <laughs> it's Coke. We've got some Coke Zero. We've got two packs of these from Aldi. We find these really handy during the festive season if we're visiting people, like we're going to my auntie's on Christmas Day, because they're all ready-made drinks for the kids. They can go in recycling as well, which is a plus. And it just means that if the kids need a drink, anyone can grab something and they're not worrying about like beakers going missing or using glasses and potentially things getting spilt. So we tend to do this just for like family occasions really. So we've got a strawberry one and tropical one for the kids. Um, from M&S, a few staples that I get every year now. So I've got the mince pie flavor cream, which is basically their version of Bailey's. It's not as creamy as Bailey's, but I just it's really nice and i like to just have it in i feel like you know when you start traditions and everything just doesn't feel right until you get something in that you've got over the last couple of years speaking of traditions let me move these out of the way for a sec these biscuits are the biscuits that my grandma has bought probably ever since i was a little girl uh, obviously the packaging has changed but the biscuits for the most part haven't and it's these um twill biscuits that i used to love as a kid and i just remember her always getting this out and in fairness i think she still gets it now but she doesn't host as much as she used to because like my mum and auntie have kind of taken the reins over a bit more in that respect but i buy them because they just make me think of my grandma they always do so i always get them every year and we took into them and it's nice to have a box of biscuits in when you've got guests coming around as well i find we also got from m and i got these turkey feast hand cut crisps with all the trimming and i don't know if you can see there but there's like turkey flavor crisps there's like stuffing flavored balls i think and then there's like vegetable crisps and i think the idea is is that obviously meant to taste like a turkey feast so i thought i would get those i also got some of these and these are the black truffle and olive oil hand cut crisps so it's just i always get loads of nibbles in because people come around and visit and it's just nice to be like oh do you fancy like a drink and some snacks so got those and then i also got my favorite uh giant corn as well this is really really nice i have to say probably out of all of them these are the crunchiest but they are really really tasty blinking love them but on to the rest of the stuff from tesco so starting over in this corner we have some j2o glitter berry these are what flavor grape cherry and spice flavor i don't know do they have glitter in i don't think i've ever had these before like edible glitter but i got these if anybody like came around and wasn't drive uh, was driving and like didn't want to drink also like 
when I was a little girl at Christmas, my mum and dad would let me have things like J2O and Schlur, or like the equivalent branded stuff back then. Schlur was definitely around when I was little. And um, it made me feel fancy, like I was having a grown up drink, a special drink on Christmas day. So these will probably go to the kids as well if they aren't like taped in or drank by anybody else. It's always good to have things in like this at this time of year, I find. Then for Christmas day morning, I picked up this and it is blood orange books fizz and it's a sparkling cocktail made with wine and blood orange juice so it's basically like a fancier books fizz but i just thought that would be nice on christmas day morning i also picked up a mulled wine because it was on offer and um i love a bit of mulled wine again it's nice to have when like guests come around then some last minute wrapping bits i've got some little um what are these called bags little bags what are they called like wrapping wrapping bags i don't know what they're called i can't remember right now um, and i've got a wine one as well just because we need those because i've got a few things that are a bit tricky to wrap and obviously that's for wine then over here i've got the pretzel cracker mix which we have, again like i've been eating stuff like this since i was a little girl reminds me um in particular of my dad then i've got some pringles these were on offer and you get a free present with every can i don't really know how that works but sour cream and onion probably the best flavor we've got some tortilla chips because these are so handy to have in if you like thinking of like a snacky meal over the christmas period but you don't want anything too heavy because all you've done is eat um like making nachos with and stuff it's just like they're good to have in twiglets do you love them or do you hate them because again like they taste like marmite don't they so what do you think let me know in the comments below i'm a massive fan um crackers for cheese so i've got rosemary crackers and sea salt crackers these are just the tesco's own brand ones and um i've had the rosemary ones before so i'm sure they will be lovely this is just a box of packaging that my daughter has left out and shouldn't actually be here so we'll put that there but <laughs> next up um i have a finest bramley apple sauce and finest cranberry sauce these for two for two pounds and these are to take with me on christmas day my auntie is hosting and we all take like things as contributions just to lessen the load because it's so expensive especially when you've got a large family like mine so i've already taken some of the bits around but i'm also taking these and we take our own drink as well then here we have caramelized onion and ale gravy this is actually for our sunday lunch today just because to be honest with you i just didn't fancy making anything too complex today so we're having well i'll tell you what i'm having in a bit that's gravy for that anyway got some whole chestnuts because tis the season and all that and they are very nice with sprouts color catches because we were running out a nappy salmon because we're running out and i feel like they're going to go over the christmas period and i don't want to be hunting these down i'd rather just sit and watch telly or play with the kids and their new toys and drink wine than go out to the shops so i've got those now and then i've also got a garlic and herb passata as well oh sorry if my voice is a bit weird by the way i've just had a coughing fit in between that last bit and this bit um right over here is bread and frozen bits so i've also got some baker foil non-stick baking paper i got this recently from aldi and it was really good so i tried to find it again but couldn't so i got this from tesco this time around it is really really good and i've got some sesame bagels because they are our favorites we've got some warburton's toasty we've also got 30 of these festive mini gingerbread biscuits however we've actually got 28 now because they've already been broken into by two little children but we have bought these a couple of times since they've come out over the like like november december the kids absolutely love them and i thought they'd be handy for snacks over the festive period then we've got these these actually need to go in the freezer very quickly but it's six mini danish pastry selection and four almond croissants i thought they would make like a different breakfast and they're really quick and easy but because they're frozen and when you cook them they're like nice and fresh then and you know if you buy the fresh ones they go stale quite quickly don't they we've also got a garlic and cheese pizza bread so that is for one of the meals and the reason why i bought a frozen one because i know it won't go off because we go like here there and everywhere over christmas I have some frozen spinach for a recipe that I'm doing and some Christmas potato shapes, one last bag because the kids have just loved these and again they're handy to have in which brings me on to these. Um, I got some chicken dippers, uh, mum's net rated apparently. These were on offer and also I just thought it'd be really handy to have in, you know like potato shapes, chicken dippers and peas if like 
we can't think of a meal or like the kids are hungry or something then at least we've got some backups here and then i also got some mccain hash browns as well then everything else is over here so i'll start with all like the party food the good stuff and we'll go over to vegetables and fruit at the end um so the first thing that i picked up was this five cheese selection this was actually on offer you get brie, mature cheddar, red leicester, Wensleydale um, with cranberries and also a blue stilton. So I love cheese at this time of year. Cheese and biscuits and a glass of wine. What a great combination. So it's nice to have that in. The rest of the family doesn't eat it as much. Like the kids like cheese. Mark's like all right with it but doesn't always choose to have it. But I just like this because it's like a set and they're all quite small so nothing goes to waste. I also got a borsan and this is... A velvety one i don't think i meant to buy this one apparently it's ideal for dipping so you know it's multi-use but i think it's a bit smoother than normal so we've got that as well everybody loves that in this house it makes you stink but my goodness it's good i have a tex mex dip selection because we tend to do like a party food buffet as a family at some point um in the run-up to christmas these go off on a boxing day though so we need to make sure we use them sooner rather than later but you get salsa sour cream guacamole and jalapeno chili cheese which sounds nice we have some crispy breaded mushrooms i saw these they had like three for two on all party food and i've not had a breaded mushroom in ages so pick those up we have some chicken and prawn gyoza i think some of them yeah it's chicken and prawn in all of them i will probably be able to eat these i don't really like seafood typically but i will give these a go unless like some are chicken and some are prawn in which case i would dodge the prawny ones but they looked really nice and they come with like a nice dipping sauce as well we've got some halloumi fries sticky chicken kebabs we've got tempura king prawns because mark and bill absolutely love these We've got some bat bacon, so two packs of this. This was on offer for £2 rather than £2.50. These, I'm very excited about these. Jumbo pigs in blankets, so they will be very, very nice. That's what we're actually going to have today. Ham, just for like sandwiches or whatever, while we need lunch like in the middle of the Christmas period. We've got some Richmond sausages, the thin ones, just because these are like, like remind me of being a kid and i just thought i would pick these up this time the kids really like these two tubs of ricotta some grapes strawberries some ripened tomatoes we've got some peppers and um, what else have we got parmigiano reggiano cheese broccoli cucumber sprouts fromage fray uh, more fruit here we've got raspberries and blueberries we've got some plain flour maris piper potatoes basil carrots uh, for eating and for rudolph and satsumas for stockings and then we've got bananas here an orange for like if we make old fashions and stuff like that and also one single red onion and then at the back here specifically for christmas day morning but it'll last us for a while we've got some apple juice and also some clementine juice because i thought that would be a little bit different so i'm gonna put all of this away and then i will run through the meal plan with you so now on to the meal plan i have it on my phone and it's key to like relaxed surroundings and the fact that i look a bit disheveled but it's christmas and I'm just in like a hoodie and some leggings and I can't really be bothered anymore. Plus, Mark and Daisy are playing in the front room, so I don't want to disturb them and stand is having a nap. So this is the best place to do it, just sat on the kitchen sofa. So today is the 22nd, as I mentioned earlier on, and we are going to do pigs in blankets towed in the hole with mash and veg. So it's like a little festive spin on it. It's not too difficult. And um, that's what the gravy is for, by the way, just so I don't have to like faff around making my own gravy and stuff because I can't be bothered. I just want to rest now and enjoy time with my family and um, I'm just trying to get like a bit of veg into the kids and stuff because it is Christmas and we all eat too much chocolate and too much cheese and like we don't always eat the good stuff do we so I thought I would do like a relatively balanced meal today then tomorrow on the complete flip side we're gonna have like a little family beige buffet type thing um just because it's like simple it's easy everyone enjoys it it makes us all think of Christmas so that's what all the like three for two stuff was for just because like it just goes down really well doesn't it then on 24th which is christmas eve we have a tradition where like our immediate family so mark and i and the kids we will go out for dinner on christmas eve just like us lot um it's really nice just to have some time like together it's become a tradition it's something that mark used to do when he was a little boy like with his family and i love that he suggested that we do the same and it's something that i really look forward to plus like I don't have to cook, which is quite nice. Um, this year it would be just the four of us because Bill is with his dad on Christmas Eve. He's also with his dad at the moment. 
so he's been there for the weekend he's coming back briefly on monday just to see us in between because his dad was really like sweet about that and was like you know you just have him for a bit so you can see him before christmas because otherwise we won't have seen him for like about four or five days otherwise and then he will also be back with us on christmas day afternoon from midday so we're very very lucky um but it'll just be us for going out for a meal on christmas eve and we're going to go to pizza express so we've got all that booked in and then on christmas day obviously it's the big day and we are typically like a turkey family so i'm not cooking christmas dinner this year i would love to cook it all for my family but my issue is at the moment in this house i couldn't like fit everybody in I have quite a large family and um, fitting everyone in our house would just be impossible for like Christmas dinner anyway because I haven't got enough seating but hopefully when we've had the extension done next year maybe I can do it I would really really like to do that um, and just make sure that like I've got enough space then and like uh, you know I can fit people in and I can do a proper turkey it would be amazing um, I've only ever cooked Christmas dinner once before previous to that um, but yeah we're going to my Auntie Debbie's this year and we're having like toki <laughs> definitely not having turkey we're having turkey we're having mash um roast potatoes carrots sprouts parsnips gravy stuffing pigs in blankets there's panettone there's christmas pudding there's a colin the caterpillar christmas edition cake as well and like loads of other like nibbles and bits and we all just take like a few things as a contribution as I mentioned and then we take our own drinks as well and I take like bits for the kids like drinks and stuff uh, just because it's easier which is why I got those like fruit shoot mock-ups from Aldi. Then on Boxing Day we then go and see Mark's side of the family so we're going to his mum's for a big buffet and his sister and her husband and their two kids will be there as well and uh, it's really really nice to see them and we uh, she always does like little sausages and stuff that are really really nice like she does them in the oven and loads of little bits and bobs and we always end up having like a lemon cello as well. I don't even know how like I don't know if that's traditional in their family I should probably ask Mark actually but we usually have a lemon cello and watch like stuff on the telly and just catch up sometimes who play like games as well um john uh mark's sister's husband bought like a is it virtual reality like a vr headset once and that was pretty wicked i have to say it was crazy playing that because it was like a scary game as well um but that was fun i might ask mark if she, he can message him actually and see if we'll bring it again because i really like that and then um on the next day that is when we see mark's dad so we go and visit him and uh, that's the 27th and then we drive back that same day from preston so it's just it's about an hour sometimes just over and we always have a tradition of having a mcdonald's after we've been to visit mark's dad it's like i don't know how we got into this but we do it every year and uh, we go through mcdonald's and then we drive back and then on that evening i've just kind of reserved that as like having like nibbles for food because we're normally quite full after a mcdonald's anyway and it means that when we get back because normally it can be like quite like late in the afternoon we are like rushing to try and cook anything it's just a bit more chilled and relaxed and we can all have a proper play with all of the toys because i don't know if you find that but at this time of year you go and see everybody don't you and you're here there and everywhere but you don't actually have a proper chance to like sit down and like play with your kids so that's what we tend to do on the evening of the 27th and then on the 28th we have reserved that for just another big play chill out spend time together like see what everybody got for christmas and have a proper go with it and like set everything up and then i am going to cook a well, it was going to be a cannelloni, spinach and ricotta cannelloni, but I cannot, for the life of me, find any, like, cannelloni pasta, like, tubes anywhere. So what I've decided to do instead is do big stuffed shells. So they're, like, this big. And I'm going to stuff those and do that instead. So it's got loads of spinach in and lemon tomato sauce. And ricotta, even though it's cheesy, it's not super heavy. So I think that'll be quite nice after, like, an indulgent few days. And then, obviously, we've just got all the the booze and then the the cheese and the chocolates that we've already got in and like loser Chris and nibbles and nuts and stuff and um in between the gap in between like the 28th and new year we probably will have to nip to shots but i'm hoping it'll be a little less busy then and then on new year sorry for the ramble by the way <laughs> but, um we are going to my grandparents for a buffet it's also my dad's birthday as well so that would be really nice just to sort of like bring the new year in together as a family and we normally just let the kids stay up as late as they want to and um throw all the rules out the window and have one last hurrah before you know getting back to normal in january but i hope 
hope that you enjoyed this video sorry it's a bit long i'm feeling very chatty today i don't know why and um i just want to wish you all a very merry christmas and say a big thank you for supporting me this year and just being so kind and being a big part of my life because you've all been brilliant and if any of you are struggling at this time of year for whatever reason that is personal to you like I know I have mine then I'm also thinking of you and I hope that you are still able to steal some moments of like love and joy and happiness with the people that you really care about and who love you very much um but thank you so much for watching I have one video left which is the video that I do this time of year every year and I hope you enjoy it but yeah I'm gonna switch off and just have some time away from my phone away from social media try not to be on it too much and just enjoy my family and the people that I care about and I hope you all manage to do the same as well but yeah I'll see you very soon and thank you so much for watching Merry Christmas bye